Yes, come in, please. Mr. Mishra, why do you wish to join civil service? Sir, I'm already in the... Oh, you're already there. Oh, you're in the IRTS. I'm sorry. So why do you wish to make a change? Sir, uh, although Indian railway traffic is a very good service and provides a very uh, dynamic platform, but sir, I am looking for the Indian administrative services or police services. Uh, reason being, sir, that it is going to provide me a uh, platform where I can make uh, changes at the systemic and policy level, sir. Uh, number two, sir, uh, what I feel that uh, this IAS will provide me a platform where I can utilize my previous knowledge in more dynamic and in the bigger canvas. Quite so what qualities do you possess that should make you a good civil servant like an IAS or IPS or foreign service? Sir, uh, number one, integrity, if I say, and uh, which I has uh, manifested many times in my previous job, sir. Number two, sir, perseverance. And third, if I list, sir, progress, progressivity. Mm -hmm. That means learning from the past, sir, right. and improving always. Picture yourself as an SP of the district, and then think what qualities are required. Sir, number one, firm decision uh, maker. I mean, they are uh, understanding the sensitivities and taking uh, clearly understanding to uh, reaching to a decision. Number two, sir, Number two, sir, uh, being unbiased. That uh, being uh, fair to each uh, individual, sir. And abide by rule of law. Uh, definitely, sir. Hmm. Definitely. And also lead from the front. Uh, Readiness to lead from. The yes, sir. Right. Right. Sir. You are a leader. Uh, what is the PIL and what are the benefits? Uh, Sir, PIL means Public Interest uh, Litigation, which was started in India in uh, nearly 1980s, early 1980s. Uh, it means that uh, uh, general public uh, can reach to the uh, directly to the Supreme Court or the judiciary and other courts, uh, higher court, uh, to seek the justice. And sir, advantages is that now it has made the justice accessible to the general public. Is a, uh, if I list down the some examples, like sir, Vishakha guidelines were announced after a PIA. Various uh, environmentally friendly measures like uh, uh, a ban put by the Supreme Court on the diesel vehicles, then sir, ban on the like uh, other measures, uh, Sabi Mala issue that was also kind of PIA. So what is the latest position on uh, this Vishakha guidelines? Are sir, they still in a Vishakha guidelines were uh, for the prevention of the sexual harassment at the workplace and for that uh, government has, uh, this Indian parliament has enacted uh, prevention of the sexual harassment at the workplace up to 2013. Yes, and now uh, those guidelines are now law. Yes, sir. earlier it was... It was guidelines and law. Okay, then why, since we have already have a law and why this uh, Me Too movement? Sir, a Me Too movement is a campaign where, uh, where it has been encouraged that women should come forward and put the fact that when they have been harassed in the past and uh, to provide a platform so that they can speak. This is a platform and awareness kind of campaign where which is encourage women that not to uh, be silent sufferer and come forward and put their grievances in the public so that perpetrator can be... Uh, Why not take recourse to the, uh, the law legal process? Has law failed them? Did law fail them at that point in time? In that <coughs> sir, so what my understanding is that there are some deficiencies in the law. Uh, there is uh, difficulties in uh, filing FIRs. There is, there is uh, women face difficulties in going to the police station. There has been cases where when women has approached the uh, legal system, or this uh, police station, yes, so they have faced difficulties. Uh, if we say, uh, if we use the term uh, rule of law, what do you mean by this? What is rule of law? So, a rule of law is a term which was uh, coined by Eri Dicey, which means that uh, each and everyone is equal in the in front of in the eyes of law. No one is above the law, and no one is below. Uh, each and every person should be treated equally. Okay, this encounter uh, is in news. Encounters in UP, so to be very specific. Sir. What do you think of this? Uh, are encounters justified and where do we draw a line? Uh, what are uh, uh, 
right encounters and what are uh, fake encounters? Sir, first thing I would mention that in UP, crime rate is very high and there is a need to uh, take uh, effective actions and which are and that to without delay. But sir, encounter uh, seems many times seems a violation of the human rights uh, when it is not followed uh, after uh, following a standard operating procedure, sir. Like not giving uh, adequate warning or directly firing upon them or not firing below the waist or, the, or legs. So first, a standard operating procedure should be followed. If even then, and first, there should be effort made to uh, so that criminal surrenders. And after that, if, if he does not surrender, you shoot him. Uh, no, sir. First, uh, first, a warning should be given. Other alternatives like fire cannon or chili, other alternatives are there. And that does not work, then fire should be made in the legs, not in the. I mean, killing is not an option, sir. But if the firing is from. Even the, if the person is unarmed or he's just because he is evading arrest, you kill him. Sir, killing is not. First, uh, if a fire is being okay, made. Okay, injure him. Uh, it, that, you mean that you can injure him if he is evading yes, arrest? Yes, exactly, sir. Okay. Now, uh, can you uh, tell us uh, what is this Ayodhya case? What is the issue uh, there in this Ayodhya case? Sir, it is a land dispute case between the sir, various parties which are claiming land and it, it is uh, subjugated in the Supreme Court which is uh, nearly uh, about to pronounce the judgment. So, it is a sir, land title suit and uh, which has often uh, taken the color, color of the communalism uh, in the... Do you think the uh, Supreme Court decision will uh, settle the issues, controversy and... Sir, up to the some extent, but it also depends on, on the public, how they perceive the judgment, whether uh, they think that this is biased, unbiased, and what they perceive, sir. So, historically, sir, roots of the communalism in the UP has, uh, I mean, due to its population composition and other factors, it's uh, very deep. So, if... Uh, Centre recently moved an application in this case. Are you aware of that? Sir, as far as my knowledge, it has uh, asked to pronounce the judgment as soon as possible. That I'm aware of. The hearing has not taken place of okay, judgment. They have moved an application for release of some uh, acquired land. Are you aware of that? Okay. Yes. Last. Uh, can you tell us uh, this surveillance uh, notification? It was in uh, news and controversy. Why? Sir, uh, there were uh, two issues. <coughs> One is that government has uh, government has uh, put a notification that uh, phone calls and the whatever the communication these those can be intercepted after some uh, after. Uh, Permission from the certain parties, and second was uh, regarding the monitoring of the social media platform. If you are asking, sir, thank you. No, it was to do with computer. Okay, thank you. You have written documentary making as your interest. So, which documentaries have you made in the last three years? Ma'am, one is uh, she for uh, herself. Hmm. It is regarding the women empowerment, and second is uh, second is ma'am curse of the terrorism. So, where did you uh, show these? Yes, ma'am. In the my uh, department, uh, my social media, I'm also a YouTuber. Okay. And you got a good response? Yes, ma'am. So there were two documentaries also. One was India's Daughters and the other was Daughters of India. One was banned, the other was acclaimed. Why do you think one of them was banned? Do you have any idea about this particular documentary? Ma'am, India's Daughter was a documentary <coughs> made by uh, BBC. Uh, sir. Producer Lizley Yudli, uh, Lizley in 2013. It was regarding the 2012 gang rape. Uh, so, in that documentary, uh, Lizley Yudli uh, took the interview of one of the uh, culprit in the jail. Yes, ma'am. So that's why uh, Ministry of Home Affairs uh, took it as offense that uh, and there were two reasons, ma'am. That it was uh, illegal to take uh, interview in the jail. And second, uh, government uh, gave a reason that it may create a negative sentiment and uh, create a law and order. But there always already was a negative sentiment after the Nirbhaya case. So why was the government being so sort of uh, trying to ban the movie? Ma'am, the confessions made by the uh, convict was... Uh, yes, that's what was important. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now you are also an electrical engineer and you also with the database. What happened to this uh, train meeting yesterday? 
Ma'am, uh, there was a jamming of the brakes uh, which has caused some uh, problem in the operation. What happened that uh, due to the cattle overrun, mm -hmm. one of the uh, pipe or air brake pipe was damaged and which led to the jamming of the uh, train. But then, you know, we, we talk of this as the fastest train and we are not able to keep our tracks free of animals. There's always a conflict between the human and the animals. So what can be done? Ma'am, in the certain areas, cattle population is, uh, I mean, very really high. It's not and just the cattle population, it's also the people who live uh, close to the tracks. Right, ma'am. So the was also, uh, there were some stone painting incidents also. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this, uh, there are many factors, ma'am. Like, whenever a thing, new thing comes, so people uh, are, are resistant to adopt the change. Like, it was earlier the case with the Shatabi and Gardhani also. No, like but people, people on the tracks, living on the sides, they, are, in any case, are not going to uh, use this train. So why should they resist a particular train coming or going? So that argument is not very valid. Okay, what are the causes of accidents in the railways? Ma'am, there are multiple factors. Okay. Suppose you classify them into two or three, what would you say? The first mm -hmm. biggest one is ma'am, uh, derailments. Derailments. Derailments due to the fracture in the rails. Yes. And second thing is ma'am, unmanned labor crossings. Yes, but now I read an article or a news item saying that we are removing all of them. Yes, except on the except one is UP, one is UP. UP and also on the small grid. Now yes, yes, So why those are not important? Ma'am, our uh, track, those route kilometers mainly are mainly on the broad gauge. So narrow gauge is in the very limited area. So uh, our priority was that uh, first we should go for removing the UL my level crossings on the broad gauge. Okay. So why is the level crossing? Anything else? Ma'am, due to the fault of the signal, uh, faulty signaling system many times. Okay. And fourth thing is ma'am, uh, due to the human error, like which has happened in the Amritsar um, incident. So what happens? What are the human errors? One, of course, we don't take care. Other than that? Ma'am, uh, it can start from uh, like the station master gives a problem, uh, un improper signal. Then, uh, then there can be a fault of the local pilot mm -hmm. that not looking at the signal properly, and drunken driving could be a one of the reasons, not following, uh, not following the standard. I mean, despite uh, observing the signal, uh, there may be a deliberate, uh, I mean, deliberate, deliberate kind of like uh, he may fail to observe the signal that uh, interpret so the you signal. Say you bring them all into say lack of training or let's say fatigue because you do give overtime to your drivers. So do you think those are factors? Definitely ma'am, because uh, uh, teeth to tail ratio, what I call in railway, that uh, many times uh, uh, in these local pilots, there is a shortage of uh, okay. manpower in these right. right. Now one more question, since you were with the housing board also, yes, you were? So this mm -hmm. RERA, are you aware of RERA? Real estate regulatory Has this helped home buyers? Uh, as far as my present status is that only 21 states have adopted this. Mm -hmm. So this is a definitely a good measure to uh, enforce the transparency in the housing sector which has earlier been accused of uh, various corrupt practices and uh, black leads. So mandatory registration under, under the RERA, then, a, then the provision of the separate okay. Okay. escrow account. Right. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Mishra, I'd like to ask you something on this recent event. In now, the, the terror group which has claimed responsibility is the Jaish Mohammed. Yes, sir. Hmm? Who is the leader of Jaish Mohammed? Sir, Maulana Masood Azhar. Masood Azhar. Masood Azhar uh, was at one time in India, was he? Yes, sir. How did he get released? Uh, sir, it was uh, the plane hijack of the uh, Indian Airlines. Yeah, sir. I see it yes, on the So he had to be released through two yes, sir. others. Yes, sir. Uh, when, uh, when the plane landed in Kandahar. Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, my question to you is this. You've been reading in the newspapers that we have been trying to get uh, Masood Azhar declared as a terrorist yes. under the UN resolutions. Yes. Right? China opposes it. Yes, sir. Now, a lot is being made about China's opposition. My question to you is, what will we gain even if Masood Azhar is declared a terrorist under that? What do we gain by it? Sir, first thing is that UN 1267 committee that declares with uh, this uh, yes. So, sir, then this uh, Masood Azhar will be designated as a global terrorist under the UN. 
then uh, countries which are giving shelter to India, they will be forced to uh, take actions against them and there will be certain curtailment in the funding. No, and no countries giving them shelter except Pakistan. Yes. Yes. The reason I am asking this is that Hafiz Singh of the Lashkar was declared as a terrorist by the same committee in 2008 yes. after the Bombay attack. Right? And India had given a huge dossier of Pakistani involvement in the attack. What has happened to him? Nothing. He is moving around freely in Pakistan. Yes, sir. But uh, there was a lot like last year. I, I would say uh, there was. He was put under the house arrest. Uh, also. Yes, they, so from time to time they put him under house arrest, but again he's out. But <coughs> sir, definitely he is going to uh, make a pressure. And sir, sir, one thing is that um, it will bring. The into the notice of the international community that this particular group and this particular terrorist is a designated terrorist under the UN. So whenever so whenever a terrorist act will be committed by him, so the particular country which is sheltering him so will be which are, which are the three major attacks for which Jaish is responsible in the recent? Sir, before that, Pampor attack, sir, I would say. Yes. And uh, before that, sir, the Uri, 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 Uri yeah. and Gurdaspur also. Sir. And Gurdaspur, the uh, Air Force. Yes, yes, yes. And prior to that was many years back, the yes, attack on Pandit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, in Kashmir, uh, apart from these terrorists, we also have the Huriyat, the all party Huriyat conference, yes, right? Sir. Now, what is their uh, stand so far as Pakistan is concerned? So far as Kashmir is concerned? So, Khodiyat leaders have adopted a separatist stand that uh, they want assist, uh, they don't want to under uh, the this Indian control. So they are demanding for a separate Kashmir. Now, uh, whether they want to uh, merge into the Pakistan or they want to uh, separate Kashmir, uh, independent that is the issue. Yeah, true. But the, their stand is that they do not accept the accession of Kashmir to India. India yes. And they demand that the UN resolutions should be implemented, which means. A referendum plebiscite should be yes, yes. So that's what they say. Yes. That the will of the people should be ascertained. But primarily they are working as uh, the front of the Pakistan yes. ISI. That yes. is the main issue which is uh, which is there. Okay. Let me come to something else. Now you know the Supreme Court had issued certain guidelines relating to appointment of DGPs of the states. So, uh, what are those guidelines? So, first thing is that uh, uh, three senior mm -hmm. most person from the would be a uh, list of the three senior most person will be sent by the state government to the UPSC. Then the Union Public Service Commission will select uh, one of the person from that uh, list. And number two, that uh, sir, any uh, of the DGP will be fixed for the. Uh, no, I was only asking the selection. Yes, sir. It's the other way around. The UPSC will prepare a panel. The UPSC will prepare a panel. The and then the state government will have the option. Now, the issue here is that five state governments had objected to this procedure. And they had submitted, they had filed a petition in the Supreme Court. Yes, sir. Uh, saying that law and order is state subject, so why should the UPSC be need to be consulted? Yes, sir. What is your view on this? Do you think the stand is justified? Oh, no, sir. The reason being that uh, uh, police reform is a wrong um, Pending since 1996 after the Paras Singh judgment, sir. And uh, although uh, law and order is a state subject, but this, this is all India service controlled and uh, controlled by the uh, union. So, a union may have a say for the transparent and transparent selection. For the now, so what do you understand by extradition? <coughs> Sir, extradition is a, a legal process to bring back a certain person from uh, some another country through uh, through uh, sir, uh, legal uh, some legal process. Okay. Now we have been trying to get Vijay Malaya back. Yes. Now apart from Vijay Malaya, can you think of any other persons who have been extradited to India very very recently from the UAE? Sir, Abu Jindal was. Uh, no, I'm talking about very recently. You heard of Christian Michel? Christian Michel Sir, and Rajiv Saxena, they were brought in for what? The August Augusta Westland helicopter team, right? Yes. Okay. What is the status of Vijay Malay? Sir, he has filed a counter petition in the 
UK that he 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 Thank you. Uh, you know this, do you know the concept, good governance concept of the World Bank? Yes, sir. Are you aware of it? Yes, sir. It has eight uh, parameters. Yes, sir. Can you uh, identify those parameters? Uh, sir, I can find some. Okay. Yes. Sir, number one, uh, rule of law. Then, sir, uh, public participation. Number three, sir, responsiveness, transparency, accountability, efficiency, effectiveness. Efficiency and effectiveness yes, sir. is directed to them. Yes. So, if you became the DM of Kanpur Dehat, yes, what problems of the people, of the rural people, would you try to solve first? Which problems? So, first priority would be focusing on the primary health care with special emphasis on the reducing IMR and MMR. Sir. Health sir, care is the first your first priority. And second priority would be sir focusing on the primary education that more of the uh, sir, female literacy. Primary education will be your second priority. And third one is sir that uh, improving the performance of the agriculture and urban Wouldn't you say that poverty and hunger are the far more pressing problems than education? First you take care of a person's sir, unemployment is a serious problem. First, I fill the belly of the person, I give him some job, and then I take care of his health and his education and his agriculture. Sir, I have some different opinion that uh, poverty and unemployment focusing may be a short term solution, but then, sir, I see that then these, these health and education seem so, so long term uh, big priorities. Yeah, but you are there hardly for two years. <coughs> so, not there for to, to, to see the results of what you will do. Uh, that does not matter, but sir, in long terms, these are going to. So, your uh, priority will still remain healthcare yes. and not not poverty uh, elevation and uh, sir, those will hunger be, elevation will not be your sir, immediate priority. No. So, immediate priority will be that, but I will get lucky, these will be my top priorities. So, now you are changing that. Uh, no, sir. Priority. My priorities will immediate be. Immediate priority will be now hunger. Sir, my priority is still will be the sir, these this priorities. Will be the because these are going to be benefit in the long term yes. MSC. All right, all right. So you would not be much bothered about implementing Manrega and Food Security Act, no? Is that what you are No, sir. This is not exactly what you are saying. You would rather go for Ayushman Bharat. First, you would focus on that, filling up the vacancies of teachers and best schools. That will be your first priority, correct? So, not our immediate. Sir, there are tools available to you, there are schemes available to you, public distribution system is under directly under the collector's control. Right. So definitely these will be my priorities, but I'm not saying that these, these are not my priorities. Right. This. If you became the SP of Kanpur Deha, what would be your three most important priorities? So number one, uh, Coming the organized crime. Organized crime. There is organized yes, crime sir. in Kanpur. Yes, sir. In in the heart or in the city? Sir, in the because sir, there is a no demarcated boundary between the city and uh, uh, that rural rural area. So the, there is organized. a so organized yes, crime is your first priority. Second else? and second thing is sir that uh, these uh, gender related crimes, sir, gender, uh, gender 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 related yes, crimes. Yes, that is very prominent in the. All right. Sir. What else? Then, sir, Third priority. sir, there are a lot of uh, Kamdar incidents also, Kamdar sir. Kamdarism, it will be also in my priority. Now, can you give me an idea how much organized crime has taken place in Dehar, Kanpur in the last three years? Sir, I am not with No sir. idea. Yes, sir. Can you give me an idea how many communal riots or incidents have taken place in the last two, three years? Sir, I am not aware of the, of the data, but, I, but yes, sir, I have gone through the reports and then the incident happens. I see. Yes, sir. You know Menka Gandhi case? Yes, sir. Supreme Court has given a judgment. Yes, sir. With which article it, it is associated? Article of the Constitution. Sir, Article 21. 20, correct. Okay. Now, what principle has been involved in this case? Sir, 
procedure established by law was uh, replaced, replaced by, by due, uh, not due replaced, due process. Due process. No. Will you please explain due pro process of law? Sir, uh, due process of law is based on the principle of national justice, sir. Mm. Uh, that uh, judiciary can uh, examine the any uh, law from not only from not only uh, from is the. Is it applicable to judiciary? This new process. Uh, so the case was that her passport had been arbitrarily confiscated. Sir, it, it is about the right to life, sir, that right to life and personal liberty. So, so personal liberty. So, let us be clear what is the meaning of due process? Sir, that uh, any person's uh, liberty cannot be curtailed by arbitrary, uh, arbitrary law, it should be rational, sir. And followed by the principle of national justice. Okay, okay. Now, India has briefed a large number of foreign ambassadors on Fulbama incident. You must have read the papers. And second attempt is for India, it is trying to isolate Pakistan on this issue. Now, which countries have come out strongly in our favor? How many? Sir, uh, number one, I would say France. Number two, sir, USA. USA has said that India has a right to self-defense and... Uh, I see. India has a right to self-defense, USA says. What does France say? Sir, France has also uh, um, unequivocally said that it, it is with the India in order to uh, save... It is? With India to save its uh, territory. Right. And fight against terrorism, sir. As an Indian, are you satisfied with this response? Sir. Or it is just a repetition of old, oh, we are with you, but you take care of yourself. Sir, as far as the France is concerned, uh, I can see that it has always been it has always been stood with the India formally against the terrorism because France has also been victim so of the. You are satisfied with the response? No? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I mean, whenever it needed, uh, France will be with them. Yes, sir. So you are satisfied with the response, USA and France? But not many other states have come in our favor. No? Yes, sir. So, you think we'll be able to isolate Pakistan? Sir, terrorism is a growing business, and definitely a various European country because uh, terrorism is now expanding in then the. You are not answering country. my question. Yes, definitely, sir. Uh, what we'll be able to isolate. Yes, sir, definitely, sir. Because the image of the India is uh, very good in the world arena, and definitely will be isolated. Will be, will be able to isolate. After Udi attacks are also we tried, uh, we thought of it, but uh, we didn't pursue oh, it. Uh, so. all right, all right. Railway, do you see some green shoots in respect of Make in India project in the rail case? Sir, so do you right. see some new, some beginnings of Make in India in the in the railway sector? Beginnings of Make in India, sir. If yes, yes then say yes. Where? If no, then say so. Yes, sir. Uh, first thing is that the recent example that Bande Bharat, this is the Make in India, sir. What Make in India it has been? And uh, second thing is sir, that we are. Yeah. As a Prime Minister, how would you feel? <coughs> One day you go to the government and the second day it fails. Sir, is, it, is it an achievement? Uh, sir, it may be a failure, but uh, we are. But definitely... still, it is an achievement. No? Yeah, yes, sir, definitely. Because it may be a failure, but it's still an achievement. Yes, sir. Right. Oh. So this is one. Anything else? Anything bigger you can? Yes, sir. Uh, we are. We have uh, put certain factories for the manufacturing of the locomotives in the Madhepura and Mirora in Bihar, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is also Make in India, sir. But how does it, it become Make in India? Sir, we are going to get technology, and this is being uh, going to be manufactured in the India. Going Who to is going, going to manufacture? Sir, although companies are uh, foreign companies. Which company? Sir, General Electric and... Uh, General Electric is where and what is it doing? Sir, General Electric is from USA. Yeah, but where is it? In which place? Madhepura or Marora? Sir, it is in the Marora. Marora. Yes, what sir. will it do? What is it doing? Sir, uh, manufacturing diesel. Do you, are you in favor of it? Sir, uh, I would say gradual liberalization, not complete and not in the abrupt manner, but gradual. Right. What will you prioritize? Sir, first I would go with the privatization of the non-core activities. Mm -hmm. uh, 
like sir, uh, this manufacturing process which I mentioned, like the manufacturing, this is not the core job of the railway. So manufacturing, so manufacturing can be uh, given. Yes, sir, then uh, catering and then sir, other non core activities like internet, Wi Fi, key images. So these first, when you later on going through the foundation of the operation, is feasible. Sir. Electricals is your subject. Right? Yes. Now, there are two major initiatives of government of India. Deen Dayal Ramin Jyoti Yojana and Sobhakya. Uh, what are they meant for and what is the success of these two? So, Deen Dayal Pandhyan Ramin Jyoti Yojana is for the rural electrification. It has four, uh, which has uh, certain objectives like 100% uh, household, 100% electrification of the villages. Then, sir, strengthening the transmission and sub transmission and distribution network and segregation of the agricultural and uh, domestic figures. So, as far as the first objective is concerned, sir, we have nearly achieved the 100% electrification of the villages. Mm -hmm. And this uh, segregation of the figure is also being uh, carried out. And, sir, so far mm -hmm. is for the last mile connectivity of the electricity. That means, sir, uh, providing electricity to the households. How so many the, households have been targeted in the initiative? So, initially, four broad households were. Uh, what is the progress? Uh, sir, nearly 1.5 crore has been implemented. Yes, sir. We close the interview. I'll give you a little feedback. Mr. Mishra, by and large, you handled the interview nicely. Uh, most questioning will be as we feel, it will be based on your depth. So, then on constitutional principles. Third would be on important judgments of the Supreme Court. What will be current affairs? In current affairs, you can say, like we have asked you about Pulwama incident, there can be budget also, etc. Now, <clears throat> uh, I will just go one by one. And uh, UP, UP is your uh, cadre, it is, is your state, therefore, UP, you must have a lot of knowledge, like its growth rate, its uh, problems. You've been asked about encounters, etc. You know, so those are the problems. Communal situation is also bad, and you see very, yes. very touchy. So those are the problems. Then they can even ask you what are the strong points of UP, what are the weaknesses of UP, etc. So just check up its economy, growth, GDP, size of GDP, etc. Then the electrical engineer becomes your important subject. Yes. On which we have, I have asked you only two questions, but yes. think of more. Yes. They talk of smart metering, etc., etc. Uh, Uday scheme, how it is working, all those areas. Just think of four five questions. Then your extracurricular activity like documentary making, etc. And cricket, like yeah. all this. Is yes. important. Well, can you ask one question? Yeah. Yes, sir, like when I was mentioning about the priorities. Uh -huh. So uh, I'm coming to that. Yes. Okay. I just see. Now, uh, these are situation, situation questions, you know, like DM and all. Yes. Uh, my suggestion to you is, think of the basic problems of the people. You say, first is hunger and power. Yes, sir. And I have got his schemes. Manrega is there, PDS system is there. I into, uh, but at the same time, I will not forget things like health. Yes. For which there are schemes. Help. Now, Aishman Bharat has seen now, I will introduce this. This is how you should this. But your basic is a man who is dying of hunger, he receives first priority. In the, in the SP, as SP, you go for the basics. Cases are not being registered. Registered investigation are shoddy or delayed. Conviction rate is 22%. People are scared of going to the police station. Don't think of big things like organized crime. Yes. Think of the basics. Yes. That is what I'm saying. Yeah, I will pick some difficulty. It's our job to guide you. So go for the basics yeah. Yeah. and the most most important things. Uske baad thoda sa ab ye constitutional issues zaroor dekh lijiye. Aur baaki to aapka bahut achhi hai. Chief Chakra. Ek baar dekh lena. Thanks. Any question? Question. And uh, so, so, so terrorism is uh, making documentary on terrorism is my hobby, sir. So in Pulwama, sir, what could be, I mean, like, um, just three or four questions what you can say. No, why it is that you should be, since making the documentary on terrorism is that you must fully understand what is happening. Which are the groups? Yes, sir. I mean, you know, like the Lashkar-e-Taiba, yes, 
Jaish and Muhammad and in Kashmir who spoke with them. Yes, sir. Right? Your leaders, sir. The leaders, no, but what is happening here? Well, you see, like Hafiz said, the reason I asked you was that, you see, Hafiz said has been roaming around freely. Yes, sir. After the Bombay attack, they had uh, put him under house arrest. That was just a formality. Yes, sir. Then again, um, he was out. Then again, after some time, they put, put him. What is happening to the commission, judicial commission, which was established by Pakistan after the uh, no, right. after the Bombay attack? Yes, then a JIT was established after uh, after the uh, Air Force attack uh, at, uh, in 2016. That team came to India. They were given all evidence. Nothing has happened. So just you know, since you are, you it's your hobby to do that, and you mentioned it, so you're fully aware of what is happening. Right. Basically, Pakistan is not doing anything. And uh, the other countries are not willing to coerce them into action. That is the basic issue. Right? And about this isolating Pakistan, we'll never be able to do it. We will say we'll be able to do it, we'll never do it. We cannot. With China sitting there, even America wants Pakistan. the Prime Minister. It is all, all airy fairy thing. And we have no, we have to deal with it ourselves. So without worrying about America's response or China. So we can go on doing a diplomatic effort, but we have to handle it ourselves. It's our own baby and our problem. So with our strengths, what we have to think is... Uh, so we have to handle it, and we can never isolate China. No country is going to help you. Hmm. Yeah, so, uh, uh, sir, I mean, uh, then, then there, is, there comes a counter question that CCIT, then, sir, I mean, like when we uh, talk about fighting terrorism, then, sir, uh, without CCIT, we'll be able to uh, Fight so what should we NCTC. Not CCIT. What are you the CCIT care? It's a comprehensive convention on international terrorism, sir. No, That's no, all. It's all right. I'll talk to you. If you can wait, I'll talk to you. Please, sir. 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 Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And press the bell icon to never miss an update.